So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI desktop update. This time it is for October 2021 and there's not a lot to talk about, but there is one that you need to know about. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with reporting as we always do. You will be now able to do add a heat map layer to Azure uh, Maps Visual. Now, last month they added the possibility to have direct query for Power BI datasets and Azure analysis services. And they have two new features. You have more flexibility now when selecting tables and there are some performance improvements in there. And let's talk about Bing Maps, you know, the out of the box visual for maps in Power BI that uses Bing services. Well, administrators will be able to disable it. So if you don't see it on your Power BI desktop, it means that it has been disabled. And now you're wondering like, why would you disable that? Well, it sends data to Bing in order to map the information. Obviously, how otherwise would it do it? So if organizations do not want data to leave the organization, they have the possibility to disable that visual. That is why, okay? So if you don't see, this is probably why. Now, modeling, two improvements. Switch, the function switch has got a promise improvement, but it says that it is for a large number of values in the hundreds of more. So probably you're doing a small switch calculations, you will not notice any performance improvement, but if you have like a humongous switch calculation, it will perform better. And Bitwise functions in DAX. You probably are wondering if you don't come from the IT world what a Bitwise calculation or a function is. And I think we have to leave that for another day, but it basically allows you to do calculations at a bit level and they will perform better. So it's like a very niche uh, application, but for those that need it, it's probably very, very welcome. So we will talk about that in a DAX ride, it's probably. Now, my favorite update this month, it is the SDMX connector. I normally don't speak about new connectors, but this one I actually was involved in, and I think is going to be absolutely fantastic. What is SDMX? SDMX is a protocol that most of governmental and international open data organizations use, not most, but quite a few in order to deliver open data, right? So if you want to get data from OECD, like the uh, IMF, uh, UN data, World Bank data, all those international organizations, before you had to go to the API and you had to read a JSON and it was a little bit complex, now with this connector, you will be able to access their open data in just a few clicks, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to do a video about that separately, but you have to give it a go. Like, so really, this is going to be, it gives you access to millions of data sources, which is really, really good. So I will come back to that in a separate video, but check it out in the meantime. So for Power BI service updates, a few things have happened. Generally available, two things, premium, Generation 2 is GA. It means that it's developed and you can use it in production. Basically, they are happy with the development. And then there is another one, which is Deployment Pipelines API that has also been made generally available. Not only that, they have added a few functions like a new set of APIs to create and manage pipelines. So if you are into that, make sure you check that out. Next, if you are using Teams, you might notice a Power BI icon there that has been installed for you. Admins could do that before, but now if a user goes to Power BI service and has a team license, the app will be automatically installed on Teams. If you're an admin and you absolutely don't want that to happen, you can disable it, but otherwise it's going to be an out-of-the-box experience the Power BI app will get automatically installed on Teams, okay? So let's talk about Power BI Embed now. Tons of updates there. The first one is there is an API that allows you to export Power BI reports to a file like a PowerPoint or PDF and, you know, do something with it. Unfortunately, that is only available for premium premium. So not for premium per user, for premium, like the, the expensive premium, which it... Uh, upsets me to no end, to be fair. 
but it is what it is. And they have made a few updates to that. Go check them out if you are lucky enough to be able to use that API. For the rest of us, well, we will keep on waiting. Other updates is object level security is now generally available. You will be able to adjust some level on embedded reports. You, there is an updated multi-year support. You will be able to use your own embed token on the playground, on the embed playground if you want to. And there is a Power BI Angular component update. Okay, so if you're into embed, tons of new stuff for you to play with. So as you can see, not a lot of goodies to be super happy about in this month's update. I am hoping that they will start delivering more on the reporting, you know, the visualization pane in Power BI. Christmas is around the corner. Who knows? We might get something by that by then. Until now, for me, SDMX is the update this month. It is a really cool connector. It will allow you to connect to tons and tons of data sets, open data, curated by amazing professionals. Make sure you check that out. Let me know what is your favorite update this month, if any, and I will see you again tomorrow with another video. So enjoy your day and see you soon. Bye-bye.